Now, this is just one area in the Bronx that has a very rich history that a lot of people don't know about. There's quite a few more. The Copper Dome is very familiar to the thousands of motorists who travel to Deegan every day, but few realize the incredible piece of national history that it's connected to. Here on the grounds of Bronx Community College, Susan and Art Zuckerman are tour guides, historians, radio personalities, you name it. But one of their most challenging and perhaps most interesting jobs is their roles as cheerleaders for the historical and architectural landmark that is the Hall of Fame for Great Americans. This is the place that coined the phrase, really. What people are always amazed at is the first Hall of Fame in America. Today there are over 300 Hall of Fames in the United States. Um, what's unique about this one, this is the first one. And, and, and the best one, we, we must say. We, we love having people come here and, uh, and see how many people they know. Um, there, there have been 102 people elected to the Hall of Fame. Four busts have not been indu inducted or, or, st or structured for the, uh, for the colony itself. So there are 98 busts as you walk through this beautiful, beautiful facility. Now these Americans aren't uh, Americans who are sports figures or, or, uh, or music, musical people because we have Hall of Fames like that. These are most prominent Americans. I mean, many of the people here are household names that everyone would know, like George Washington, Abraham Lincoln. Uh, but then you have people here like Louis Agassiz. You have people like Asa Gray. You have people like Joseph Henry that most Americans have never heard of. The three buildings adjoining the colonnade, Gould Memorial Library, the Hall of Languages, and Baker Hall of Philosophy, were designed by celebrated architect Stanford White. These three buildings were among the first constructed on what was then the University Heights campus of NYU. Because the reaction to people when they come here is absolutely the most amazing. They are absolutely floored that we are in a place that is gorgeous. This campus has, by the way, been used um, for m numerous movies. We've shot uh, numerous movies. Recently, there was a movie called The Good Shepherd with some kind of uh, actors that maybe people have heard of. <laughs> people like uh, Robert De Niro, right. um, Angelina Jolie, who's never in the news anymore, <laughs> and Matt Damon. That was shot here and predominantly shot here. The first inductions into the Hall of Fame were in 1901, and national interest in the museum was intense throughout the early 20th century. One thing that's very interesting is how famous is this place? You know, we ask people, how famous is it? Have you ever heard of it? A lot of people say yes, some people say no. What we find very interesting, there was this kind of movie that I would guess our, our, our listeners and our viewers would probably say um, they've seen it a hundred times, which is The Wizard of Oz. That is a scene in the show when, when Dorothy comes down and her, her building from Trumpson, Kansas, crashes on the Wicked Witch of the East. The Munchkins come out and they sing a song. From now on you'll be history. You'll be history. You'll be history. You'll be history. And we will glorify your name. You'll be a bust. You'll be a bust. You'll be a bust. In the Hall of Fame. Give you an idea that, that how, that's how prominent this facility was. Everybody knew the Hall of Fame in 1939. It wasn't some, you know, term that was just a loose depiction of what should be a Hall of Fame. It was a specific location and they meant here. But as they say, fame is fleeting and the Hall drifted into obscurity on the national scene. But Art and Susan are hoping to change all that. We have a campus here that is gorgeous. We filmed so many movies here. The waiting list for movies is amazing here. The tours here are free. Um, they're open to the public. Uh, we'd love to show them the, the colonnade, which we think is magnificent. The Gould Memorial Library, which has incredible stories and, and, and an architectural masterpiece that you wouldn't see anyway except going to Rome. And we'd love to see people come here. And really our focus right now in the Friends is really to, to let more people know. And the more people we have that come here, all they have to do is really say, look, there's a great place. You want to go to Washington, D.C.? You want to go to Rome? Maybe you should go to the Bronx.